God was brooding over the surface of the waters. Then God said, light be, and light was. God saw that light was good, and God separated light from darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. Evening came, and morning followed the first day. Then God said, now, make an expanse between the waters. Separate water from water. So it was, God made the expanse and separated the water above the expanse from the water below it. God called the expanse sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Then God said, waters under the sky be gathered into one place. Dry ground, appear. So it was, God called the dry ground earth and the gathering of the waters, sea. And God saw that this was good. Then God said, Earth, produce vegetation, plants that scatter their own seeds and every kind of fruit tree that bears fruit with its own seed in it. So it was, the earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with seed in it. And God saw that this was good. Evening came and morning followed the third day. Then God said, Now, let there be lights in the expanse of the sky. Separate day from night. Let them mark the signs of seasons, days, and years. And serve as luminaries in the sky, shedding light on the earth. So it was, God made the two great lights the greater one to illumine the day, and the lesser to illumine the night. Then God made the stars as well, placing them in the expanse of the sky to shed light on the earth, to govern both day and night, and separate light from darkness. And God saw that this was good. Evening came, and morning followed the fourth day. God then said, Waters, Swarm an abundance of living beings. Birds fly above the earth in the open expanse of the sky. And so it was. God created great sea monsters and all sorts of swimming creatures with which the waters are filled, and all kinds of birds. God saw that this was good and blessed them, saying, Bear fruit, increase your numbers, and fill the waters of the seas. Birds abound on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed the fifth day. Then God said, Earth, bring forth all kinds of living soul, cattle, things that crawl, and wild animals of all kinds. So it was, God made all kinds of wild animals, and cattle, and everything that crawls. This was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image to be like us. Let them be stewards of the fish in the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, the wild animals, and everything that crawls on the ground. Humankind was created as God's reflection. In the divine image, God created them. Female and male, God made them. God blessed them and said, Bear fruit, increase your numbers, and fill the earth, and be responsible for it. Watch over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things on the earth. God then told them, Look, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the earth, and every tree whose fruit carries its seed inside itself. They will be your food. And to all the animals of the earth, and the birds of the air, and the things that crawl on the ground, Everything that has a living soul in it, I give all the green plants for food. So it was. God looked at all of this creation and proclaimed that this was good. Very good. Evening came and morning followed the sixth day. Thus, the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. On the seventh day, God had finished all the work of creation.
creation. And so, on that seventh day, God rested. God blessed the seventh day and called it sacred, because on it God rested from all the work of creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Friends, God has created 